Okay, welcome back. Uh, here's a quick video on consumer surplus. It's one of those concepts that students really need to know particularly well, especially if they want to talk about economic welfare and the consequences of changes in supply and demand and government intervention for the welfare of consumers. So first of all, a quick bit of revision. Consumer surplus is a concept which tells us the difference between what people are willing and able to pay for a particular product and that of course is reflected in the demand curve and the total amount they actually do pay, the price and the quantity. So consumer surplus is shown by the area underneath the demand curve, underneath that demand curve shown on the diagram here and above the market price. So initially in this situation consumer surplus is the triangle ABC, the area underneath the demand curve and above the price. Now crucially Oftentimes in exam questions, you'll be given a scenario and you're asked, you're asked to think about what has happened to the level of consumer surplus. Let's take, uh, let's take a few examples to, to work through. In the first example here on the left-hand side, we see an inward shift of supply caused by uh, higher supply costs, perhaps an increase in the cost of raw materials or an increase in wages. Now, the higher supply cost leads to an inward shift of supply, S1 to S2, that then causes a rise in market price. Price goes up from A to D, and as a result, the quantity in the market contracts from Q1 to Q2. So after the price rise, consumer surplus is area D, B, E. Beforehand, it was A, B, C. Therefore, there's a loss of consumer surplus. Can you see that? The area A, D, E, C. Higher prices caused by, for example, cost push inflation can erode or reduce the level of consumer surplus. Let's take another scenario. In this case, the demand curve for the product has shifted out to the right, from D to D2, with conditions of supply remaining the same. So if the demand curve shifts out, the quantity increases from Q1 to Q2, the price goes up from A to G, and the initial level of consumer surplus was ABC, the area underneath the demand curve and above the price, the new area producer surplus is GHI. So an increase in the consumer surplus reflects people's greater willingness and ability to pay. Yes, the price goes up for some consumers, but the level of consumer surplus also rises in the market. One of the ways in which you can think about what happens to consumer welfare is if there's a, an intervention in the market. Let's have a look at one example in the time we have left and that's the effects of a maximum price applied to the market. So here's a market for a product. Initially the price is A, the equilibrium is at C and the quantity bought and sold is Q1. Before the maximum price, uh, the equilibrium price is A and of course the area of consumer surplus is the area BAC or BCA. Now, if we put a maximum price on the market, that is a price ceiling. The price cannot rise legally above it. And of course, for that to be effective, a maximum price has to be set below the normal free market price. So the imposed market price shown by the dotted green line there. At lower prices, at price E, supply will contract to Q2. So producers, if one subscribes to the profit motive theory, they'll be less willing and able to supply to the market if they're getting a, a, a smaller price. So supply will contract from C to F. Quantity now will be Q2, priced at E. Now, after the maximum price, consumer surplus is the area B, D, F, E. The area below the demand curve and above the price. But of course, we're now constrained by the fact that there is a smaller quantity. So obviously affecting some consumers, some of whom are now not in the market. So some consumers have gained from the maximum price because they're now getting their product at a cheaper price than they did before. But others miss out because there's a fall or contraction in the quantity supply from, from Q1 to Q2. Indeed, oftentimes when we have a maximum price, then a shadow market might emerge because the official capped price has led to a market shortage uh, equal to the gap between the, the demand and the supply curve at the price 
E. So shortages can lead to the, the emergence of parallel markets where people trade at unofficial prices. Lots more notes on consumer surplus, producer surplus, economic welfare, all that kind of stuff on our website, choosetodo.net forward slash economics. But for now, thanks for joining in on this short video on consumer surplus and changing prices.